The last time I interviewed Peter Cook on the Parkinson show was in 1982. Dud had moved on to Hollywood, superstardom, and the life of a sex symbol. Peter was amused by it all, but perhaps a little forlorn. He told an interviewer, I suppose I might have some regrets, but I can't remember what they are. The other guests you'll see in this interview are the novelist Anthony Burgess and the actor Donald Sindon. I must now ask you, of course, a question that everybody asks you about, about your little friend. It is Our, done up. Mr. It is done up, oh. yes, yes. It's <laughs> done friend, yes. <laughs> I'm talking about the fisherman. The fisherman, yes. Fisherman's wharf. That's right. The dwarf. That's, right. well, that's very mean. No. <laughs> I never said that. But he's a remarkable success, isn't he? He is no, a remarkable huge. success. Yeah. He is a remarkable success. Yes, he's a, he's a huge star there. Um, what's? I mean, I, all the journalists ask you about it. I mean, what's your attitude toward it? Well, my genuine attitude is, I'm delighted. Just I'm very you. pleased, and he's reveling in it, having the thoroughly good time he deserves, and it's wonderful for him. And he enjoys living in California more than I do. And his, his life is there. His house is there. His girlfriend is there. In my case, my family are here. My wife is here. My ex-wife is here. My children are here. So it's a big thing to miss. But did you never... I mean, Dudley is very ambitious. Uh, you know better than most. I mean, he always wanted to be something like that, didn't he? The, the sort of huge star. Is that something that's lacking in you, that you never wanted to actually go that far? I've never thought that if I set out to achieve it, I'd ever get it. And I can't, I, I, I'm, can't say I'm not ambitious, but I, I'm not very ambitious. I've floated along for 22 years in a fairly comfortable way. And um, my only ambition is to sort of continue along that path. A critic once called you, in fact, quite recently, Sean Usher described you as being the last amateur of British comedy. Is that be a a description that you would uh, go along with? Well, it's thoroughly flattering because it implies you don't really try and it just happens to you. When I'm doing something, I work bloody hard. Yes. Um, but it's a, it, it's a flattering description. I would not object to it. I mean, if you were a cricketer, you'd rather be a gentleman than a player. Mm, if I was a cricketer, I'd probably be in South Africa now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could do I don't know. <laughs> And when you come to write your memoirs, what will we call it? I've forgotten. You've forgotten. That's what I'll call it, You'll yeah. call it. I've... Whenever I meet interesting people, uh, nothing happens of any interest. I meet Groucho Marx. He comes to see the show that Dudley and I were doing in Los Angeles. Comes backstage. Meet him. Wonderful to meet him. He, first thing he says is, give up smoking. Very sensible. And he says, would you like to come back to my house? And we both say, yes, we'd love to come back to your house and um, chat. The reason he's asked us back to his house is he couldn't hear a word of the show and would we do it again in his living room? <laughs> <laughs> Which we wouldn't. <laughs> well, that's an alley. That's a chapter in itself. We've sadly... We've run out of time, haven't we? Yes, we have. We're, we're bang on there. <laughs> it always happens. Peter Cook, thank you very much indeed. Anthony Burgess, thank you. Donald Sindon, thank, thank you, you again. Much. So that was Peter Cook, as I remember him. From the 11 years, he was a regular and welcome guest on the Parkinson show. But I knew him better than that. When people ask me what he was really like, I always say there was no one quite like him. Next week, I shall be recalling an interview with Richard Burton. Until then, very good night. Good night. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Now's the time to yield a sigh. Oh, yield that cruel sigh, baby. Now's the time to win. <laughs> oh, lady! I told me means I can! Not going well. I'm sorry! It's going wonderfully. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. We're leaving you, Scooby Dye. Goodbye. We wish upon goodbye. Fart, shut up. Fart, shut up. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're leaving you, Scooby Dye. Goodbye. Wish fun to fight. Ta 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 ta. La 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 la